drawing in tux paint lofty goal in this lesson you will learn about the following line tool shape tool magic tool stamp tool in the previous class we had lots of fun with tux paint please mighty tell me more about tux paint sure mindy welcome back to your learning experience with tux paint let's recall it tux paint tux paint is a drawing program for young children it has a simple interface and fixed canvas size and provides access to previous images using a thumbnail browser canvas area toolbar color palette selector toolbar main screen of tux paint the main screen of tux paint is divided into the following sections toolbar the toolbar contains the drawing and editing controls drawing canvas the largest part of the screen in the center is the drawing canvas this is where you draw selector toolbar depending on the current tool the selector shows different things colors a palette of available colors is shown near the bottom of the screen help area at the very bottom of the screen tux the linux penguin provides tips and other information while you draw line tool This tool lets you draw straight lines using various brushes and colors you normally use with the paint brush. Step 1. Click the line tool. Step 2. Choose a color of your choice. Step 3. Click the mouse and hold it to choose the starting point of the line. As you move the mouse around, the thin rubber band line will show where the line will be drawn. Shape tool This tool lets you draw some simple filled and unfilled shapes. Step 1. Click the shape tool. Step 2. Select a shape from the selector on the right. Circle, square or oval. Step 3. Choose a color. Step 4. In the canvas, click the mouse and hold it to stretch the shape out from where you clicked. Magic tool. The magic tool is actually a set of special tools. Select one of the magic effects from the selector on the right. Then, depending on the tool, you can either click and drag around the picture and or simply click the picture once to apply the effect. Drip magic. This makes the paint drip wherever you move the mouse. Let's try this tool. Step 1. Start your drawing with a white solid background. Step 2. Select the paint tool and choose a big sized brush from the selector tool box. Step 3. Now choose red color and draw a flower. Step 4. Click the magic tool and select the drip effect from the selector tool bar. Step 5. Drag the magic wand upon the flower and see the effect. Edge effect. This effect is used to trace the edges in your picture over a white background. Let's see its effect. Step 1. Click the stamp tool. Step 2. Choose a turkey from the selector tool bar. Step 3. Stamp twice this turkey from the canvas area. Step 4. Now click on magic tool and select the edges effect the selector tool bar. Step 5. To trace the edges of your picture, click and move the mouse over the picture. Step 6. See the differences between both the pictures. You will find a traced picture of turkey. Now, let's use some magic effects together to draw a scenery. To draw the scenery, you need to use the following tools: magic tool, brick effect, grass effect, foam effect, snowballs, stamp tool, shape tool, save tool. Step 1. Click the magic tool and select brick effect from the selector toolbar. Step 2. Click and drag the left mouse button to create a wall. Step 3. Click the shape tool and choose a triangle. Step 4. Now draw a triangle at the top of the wall. Step 5. Click the magic tool again and select the fill effect the selector toolbar to fill color. Step 6. Click in the picture to fill color. Step 7 Use the shape tool to draw a window and a door. Step 8 Fill the color by selecting the fill tool. Step 9 
Click the magic tool and select the following tools to give the following effects. Grass effect To paint grass on the image. Flower effect To draw small flowers with leafy bases and stalks. Rain effect To draw rain bubbles. Snowflakes effect To fill the picture with snowflakes. Step 10 Click the stamp tool and choose the different categories of stamps from the selector toolbar to create animals, plants and people. Step 11. Use the left and right arrows to cycle through the collections. In this scenery, the following stamps have been used. Dog, policeman, cow, tree. After completing all the steps, the following scenery will be made on tux paint. When you are finished, just click on the save button. Which one is correct? 